Hello everyone, I am Maria, the host of Valachia News Interviews, and today we are going to talk about Dogvisor, a platform that enables doctors to connect with medical peers and discuss challenging cases in a secure environment. But before starting our interview, I have to say that the company behind this app is MCRO, a leading software development company with a reputation for quality and innovation. Recently, MCRO teamed up with medical experts to create a platform tailored to the needs of cancer care providers. I'm with Alexandru Lazar, CEO and founder of MCRO, and we're here today to talk more about uh, Dogvisor, where he is also a co-founder of, to get to know more about this project. Hi, Alex. Thanks for accepting my invitation and welcome to our interview series with successful entrepreneurs. How are you? Hi, Maria. I'm good. Thank you. Um, thanks for inviting me. So to get started, our first question, uh, to get to know more about Dogvisor, we would like to know your definition of it. So what is Dogvisor and what does it represent in terms of uh, innovation? Um, well, in short, Dogvisor is a Medicare um, software platform dedicated to oncology centers um, that is meant to help clinics optimize their oncology practice and improve the performance overall. And what it brings is actually clinics will have a flow that allows doctors uh, to use a, a shared database of treatment protocols that is global, um, prescribe the treatment, set the right doses based on the calculated ones. We have several calculation methods. Um, I can explain what every calculation method um, means later and validate the treatment and then send it to the actual pharmacy of the hospital. If there is a pharmacy, if not directly to the nurse, um, that will further administer it. So the entire process um, happens in real time for everyone uh, with full transparency. So doctors will be able to oversee everything, the, the entire flow from prescription to, administer, um, to administering the treatment in real time. So that's, um, um, that's the main feature of Dogvisor. Other features will include a, a tumor board um, for doctors to make the best decision for their patients. Um, they have the option to join offline if they meet in the same room or online um, in a Google Meet-like conference room adapted for them to be able to discuss about specific case study, um, work on a resolution, add notes, add attachments, anything relevant to them um, that will help everyone make the best decision. So two more boards are usually used by doctors um, in, in different areas, like oncologists will meet with the surgeon, will meet with uh, anatomopathologists, cardiologists, and other doctors, so that they, make, they all make a decision uh, towards the best treatment. And um, beside that, we also offer a powerful clinic report uh, that helps clinics uh, logistically organize their stuff better and be able to determine the exact quantity of drug to be administered in the following month based on the previous month records. So for instance, they can um, extract reports on the amount of um, Carboplatin, for instance. So what can you tell us about the beneficiaries of uh, this platform? Um, so I think um, this is a very good question. In my opinion, pretty much everyone involved in the process uh, will benefit tremendously. Um, starting with patients who are the main actors and um, the platform is dedicated to you know, make their life easier, to doctors, um, to clinics, and ultimately to research, um, I think everyone will benefit big time. Um, like, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the clinic flow will shorten the time for patients to stay in the hospitals. Doctors will be able to collaborate easier um, and use the clinic flow to handle even more patients. And clinics will, you know, benefit logistically because using the report system, 
they will be able to assess what quantity of certain drugs will be um, administered um, in the following month based on the previous month records, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and other statistics, you know, to reflect the performance of the medical stuff. Because you have an activity of the clinic where you can you can see who's performing what and um, you can you can assess that as well. And of course, the research part, which um, the medical data stored in a, in a, in a secure and efficient way uh, will enable research to be done properly, you know, with solid data from real patients um, treating the actual hospitals, not like fake data on, uh, on a paper. And the, the fact that we require the doctors to status status for every finalized treatment, um, they have to choose between several statuses like progressing disease, a stationary disease, um, partial response or a complete response. Uh, this will enable us to, uh, to build to build the proper modeling around the prescriptions and use the data for research purpose to check whether treatment was more efficient than the others. And later on, why not uh, build an AI around and make some sort of forecasting or treatments where we can get like a percentage of um, survival chance chances uh, based on several factors. Um, right now, we don't have a lot of information collected from doctors other than the level of creating the body mass index and a few other um, associated diseases. But later we wanna introduce the genetic markers um, that I think are probably gonna be very relevant. My co-founder is a doctor and uh, he would be able to tell you more about it. But later I think these genetic markers will play an important role to target certain gene mutations. So uh, once we build that AI module, I think uh, the data would be um, very important for research as well. I think this platform can um, help to improve the medical system, right? And it's like a personal yeah. medical assistant for uh, cancer patients. Well, the forecasting, I would say it's much in the future, but it's not something impossible. So we're gonna have to work a lot with doctors to analyze data and make sure it's not biased and um, make sure we're uh, getting the, the, the correct results because it can be very tricky. Are there any similar apps? I don't think there is a platform to contain the full set of features we offer uh, to close the loop uh, with the clinic needs in terms of patient management, smart prescription, tumor boards, and everything. Um, I know some other applications that only offer a tool for tumor boards, for instance, that's not even a live conference like we do, to, you know, to offer the possibility to collaborate remotely um, in, a, in, in a smart and in, in a secure system, not WhatsApp or Zoom or Google Meets, uh, that's not contained by the clinic and not contained by a single platform. Uh, I don't think that's a safe um, safe way to handle two mobiles, for instance. Um, and others, other applications that I know, you know, um, that ask doctors to enter their patient data for the sake of research. I strongly believe that DocVisor has literally no competition out there at the moment. What were the challenges of creating and developing this platform? Well, there were very many challenges um, from securing the funds um, to deliver because um, you need money, and money is a very important resource, and to convince clinics to use it. So these were all challenges. We went to several congresses, and we've been discussing with doctors. We've been gathering feedback, and all that. Um, and but I, but I believe that um, the biggest challenge uh, was to somehow transpose what doctors had in their mind into the actual user experience. It's very difficult to handle this with a person that is non-technical and in a very efficient without you know, distorting 
the actual need in the hospital, the actual reality. And I believe here, um, myself and Alex, my co-founder, together with my UX designer, um, played a very, very important role to determine the best way to handle specific user experience in the application flow. I think that was, that was the biggest challenge. Beside the technical stuff that we're experts at, right? Um, that's what we are good at, right? We are a software company that is behind this product and pretty powerful software company. So that was, um, that was a good starting point and made our life a lot easier, right? To, to kick this off. So there were not very many technical challenges. Um, I would say rather product slash user experience challenges. You mentioned something about uh, money costs and um, resources. At this moment, are we talking about any costs involved involving uh, this uh, in this app for those who use it? Well, <laughs> this is a good question. Yes and no. Um, it is fully free at the moment, and it will stay free for patients management and then treatment prescriptions, meaning the entire clinic flow that we will not charge for that. Um, we'll never charge for that. But we may charge for something like two more boards um, as we make it more complex. Um, you know, probably treatment forecasting once we have an efficient AI in place um, and maybe clinic reports because um, logistically that will help them a lot. We might charge for that in the future. Not right now. I think in the first couple, in the first next two years, I think um, all these services will be set for free. How did the government not finance your project? Um, we didn't get any funds from the government. Um, MCRO funded this project. Um, MCRO is the uh, product development studio that stands behind the initiative. And that was a really important factor in terms of receiving the funds. When Alex, my co-founder, who's a respected oncologist, came to me here back, he asked me if we can build a software for him. He was ready to pay from his own pocket. Um, I, I told him, well, I'm not sure if you have the money to pay for it because software costs a lot of money, especially that the developers are really expensive. But we're probably going to figure a way to monetize this in a way or another. And government, I'm sure, you know, they have the best interest in digitalization and the best thing they've done so far um, without eating any money is not to cast any stones in our way. So that was a, that's, that was a very good thing. How do you see the future of this platform, Dogwiser, in Romania, for example? Well, I think it has a very bright future. Um, I think the plan for Dogvisor is to onboard all the public hospitals in Romania and the private ones, and why not? Um, that will enable doctors to collaborate efficiently um, based on a global shared database of treatment protocols. That would be ideal, right? Um, and the plan is to have everyone in the platform um, in the next years to come and make sure they, they use it successfully. Then that will give us even more courage to explore other markets because we're not gonna be limiting to uh, Romania only. Uh, we wanna explore other European markets like Germany, Netherlands, um, why not UK, who's uh, you know, not part of Europe anymore, but um, that's, that's a good market as well. Um, and possibly United States. All right. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. And uh, we hope that the uh, dog visor will be the real game changer in the medical system. And I wish you good luck with your entrepreneurial journey and see you soon. Thank you for inviting me, Maria. Appreciate it.